It's the label for gold medal wool award winners, and it's on the finest wool fashions. They're beautiful. What are you doing? I'm looking for the label. Today. Yes, he's wearing a very nice wool suit. You'll get wet if it rains, though. Oh, not very wet, dear. You see, he wants his suit to repel rain from the outside and remove body moisture from the inside. And wool gives him both of these contradictory features. How can it do that? Well, when the boss perspires, which he does even when he's cold, the moisture must be removed or he'll become even colder. Wool actually absorbs this moisture into its chemical structure and in doing so adjusts the body temperature. Now, here's something wonderful. While wool absorbs up to 30% of its own weight of moisture without feeling damp, liquid water doesn't penetrate the special covering on the wool fibers, so that wool is both repellent and absorbent at the same time. When coupled with wool's natural porosity, which gives ventilation to the body, is it any wonder that for comfort in all conditions, wools are natural? What on earth are you trying to do? I wanted a crew cut, but I can't rub this wool away. That's because wool is so durable. Why is it durable, Mom? Fabric strength depends upon the molecular structure of the material. Here are the wool molecules, which can't be seen, but we know they act like a lot of tiny springs which are wound round each other, in the same way that fibres are spun together into yarn. The natural springiness of the bundles of molecules creates wool's great elasticity. An elasticity which not only makes wool wear longer than other fabrics, but gives it the ability to return to its original form after crushing or folding. This means that woolen garments hold their shape, drape gracefully, don't wrinkle easily, and wear longer. What are you doing now? Well, I'm just showing this tree what it's up against because, for durability, wool's unnatural. <laughs> Mom, have you seen Dad? All his wool's gone. Don't worry, Lambkin. He's just been shorn. Shorn? Yes, dear. The boss gives Daddy a haircut once a year and uses the wool to make the things he needs. Things like socks, ties, dresses, blankets, suits, carpets, hats, coats, and so on. Couldn't he use something else instead of leaving my poor old Dad all cold? Oh, dear, there's no substitute for wool. Wool is extremely... Complicated in its structure and can't be copied synthetically. Far from being a single strand, one wool fiber is really a whole series of strands within strands within strands, all microscopically small and enclosed in a scaly outer jacket. And locked away in this unique structure are all the wonderful qualities of wool. Gee, Dad, you're really wonderful. Man, it's really cold today. Does your mother know you're out in this weather? <sighs> Why don't I get cold like Rover does, Mom? Rover doesn't have wool to insulate him against cold or heat like we do, dear. The insulation value of a fabric depends upon the air trapped within it and on its surface. Wool is a wonderful insulator because it can be very thick without being too heavy to wear and because it has a textured surface, which also traps lots of air. Most important of all, however, is the fact that wool is resilient. That is, it springs back to its original shape, so its thickness and texture remain unaffected, even after long and hard use. For insulation, wool's a natural. I'll go and pull him out. But you'll get burned, Mom. No, dear. Wool is fire resistant. 
You see, dear, some fabrics are readily inflammable. Others melt when ignited and stick to the skin. Wool is the safest of all fabrics because the fibers actually shrivel away from the flame. Also, wool has its own built-in fire alarm. When wool chars, its characteristic odor acts as a danger warning to prevent further damage. So you see that That's for That's wonderful, Mum, but you'd better hurry and rescue Rover. For fire resistance, wool's a natural.